Zainab, Z-A-I-N-A-B, Jodhry, C-H-A-U-D-R-Y. I'm the director of CARE's office in Maryland. CARE is a council on American Islamic relations, America's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization. Uh, CARE is also a member of the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations, which is hosting these Muslim Advocacy Days on Capitol Hill. The objective of these advocacy days is to bring together the Muslim political power from all across the country to lobby lawmakers, especially on issues that our communities care about, issues ranging from the Afghan Adjustment Act, which is intended to make sure that those Afghans who don't have a pathway to citizenship are afforded the same kind of opportunities as others uh, who are here, who served um, in the military or supported the U.S. government, have an opportunity to be able to like have a space to live here in the United States without worrying about going back home. Uh, one of the key issues that we're focused focusing on is urging lawmakers, especially in the Senate, to support the Combating Global uh, Islamophobia Act. Uh, this is a, a legislation that would make sure that there's a special envoy that's created through the U.S. Department of State um, to help um, report on the prevalence of in, uh, in the incidence of Islamophobia around the world. We're seeing an uptick in fascism and uh, Islamophobia and anti-Muslim bigotry throughout the world, um, especially in places like India. And uh, our goal is to make sure that our State Department is monitoring and tracking that and um, that they're allocating services and resources to this issue and they're reporting on this and making sure that our tax dollars as U.S. citizens are not going towards funding and fueling and supporting this kind of Islamophobia. So we urge all of our lawmakers here on Capitol Hill um, to pay attention to the issues that hundreds of delegates from around the country are here today to, to lobby on. We urge them to support them if they have not already. And those lawmakers who have supported them, we appreciate their support. We do want to acknowledge U.S. Senator Ben Cardin out of Maryland, um, who is a co-sponsor of the Combating Global Islamophobia Act, um, for his support in making sure that Islamophobia anywhere is not tolerated um, and that you know we have a mechanism to study the prevalence of Islamophobia in our society, uh, not just in America, but all around the world.